Hello traders and happy Wednesday. It's the morning for me. It is pretty bad in Perth, so um, this makes being in the office a lot easier because you don't want to be outside today. So, all right, so it was a quick wham bam thank you ma'am trade on the pound US dollar that I took uh, last night during New York. I mentioned this quite a bit though in, I think I made the video about 11 o'clock on Tuesday morning about what I was looking at taking and my plan to watch in the London session and then also monitor in the New York session. So made around, you know, $45 or so. Um, this is what I've made since. I'm not sure what it goes back to. So Oanda takes me back to May of 7th. So I don't know why it does that, but I had this account. I've had this account for a while now. So I started with 10,000, uh, 5,000, sorry, 5,000. So but from May, I've made, this is what I've made. So, um, you know, I've smartened up a little bit. And I think it was like 4,790. So I was down a little bit. Um, this one here, I, I spoke about, you know, the, the down moves. And then I differentiated it between the euro and the US dollar. I think I made a video last night as well. And I did even make a video last night. I'm on holidays, so, you know, I'm making videos. I'm making a lot of them. Um, because that's just, you know, how I, I sort of learn, um, quite well from doing that and explaining myself and reviewing things. But, um, yeah, so I, I've been watching this on the Monday and this was quite, this was quite pleasing to see on the Tuesday. And then this cracked nicely and I got down to the low. But I also mentioned that my problem again with this was that, you know, the stop loss, this is where it was, was at. Um, you know, we were really, value for money wasn't the best with risk to reward ratio. So that's what the stop loss was. And down here is where the you know, take profit was pretty much. So you can see it's not, you know, it's not the best. But, you know, I closed out and I actually closed out the trailing as well just because, you know, it, it made a big move and I knew there was a retrace in order um, and it did. So... We'll see where this goes. I mean, if it, if it continues, where's the daily up? The weeks here mean, you know, there's some buyer interest as well. So you've just got to be uh, wary of that a little bit. And then, uh, so we'll see. That That's some strong established support though. So if you can crack through there, then I may be interested. We'll see. How's he doing? The euro, so that's, I would sort of call this one move down. That's the same day. That was on the, the 4th of August. And that was also on the 4th of August. So, and then the retrace, and then this is the second move. We just need to clear the lows here. And it, and it is. It is actually doing that. So that's some support there. Let's see the weekly. Get some support and resistance established. Next support level. How I how I sort of define it is we've got one touch. It's a zone, so it's not an exacting point, but you know one touch, two, three. I mean four. That's definitely not. So I mean, if you're generous, you know we're talking four touches here on the weekly time frame. So. 1.14504 is, you know, something to consider if it does collapse. So what what I use these for is to also keep them back in mind. Like if you're someone who gets a little frustrated at price, like for example, the pound, you just got to be wary of this. So, I mean, you know, you, you can see it's going to bounce most likely, and it did. So just you can either close out and be done with it or, you know, keep the trade open. So and I was happy with my near 1% gain. You know, that's quite significant. So, but that's the video, guys. There's not really, I should probably check a few more before I go. That's the end of the video, shouldn't I really? Okay, interesting. I like that transaction. And it's not too overextended. So if you see price action well over the midline and approaching piercing through this Bollinger Band, 
it there's a sign that it is a little overextended and it might revert back a little bit and retrace so that's something to be wary of but that's quite interesting i mean it's a steady nice little move it's not too bad really it's, you know, it's a bounce it's um, back to being a little bullish. What about the SPCY? Um, let's just go back to it. It's got more work to do because obviously that's, yeah, I'm not going to be trading that. So it's wasting my time. But I was a dollar. All right, so that's that's come back now. Now, so you might see wanting to enter its little comfort zone because it loves, you know, 77 cents was a well established sort of price that it was trading between, you know, 77 to 78. So. Yeah, I got out around here in this trade, so I got lucky as well. I think there was some good data out of China and everything like that. I can't really win, to be honest. Doesn't really matter either sort of trade for price action. I'm, I'm going to keep it to the majors, guys. Okay, so um, oh, USD yen, yen. Don't know why that's not in there. In the hip loop, loop, loop. USD. Um, interesting. This is a potential here, actually. I'm just showing you guys what I would do on a normal, you know, morning, really, if I'm not at work. My work shift works, so. Click the live in there. That's embarrassing. I didn't click the live. Be down here as the next sort of major support level. So it's a while away, which is good. It's going to give it time to develop. I might just try and style time zone. being mean to me but um yeah so what am I watching um, the US Canadian dollar I'll also watch the euro as well but again not really during Asia will it interest me it will be later on it'll be the London session and then the New York session so the London session around four o'clock my time Perth time I'll start looking and then you know nine o'clock will be the next candle close so five o'clock but I like to look before the five o'clock candle just in case it's something really then I could yeah it could be a trade-off but yeah so that's how I'm playing guys thank you for watching and I'll do a back test video now as well bye